Well, before we get going, I better throw up a warning here. This video contains a medical procedure that some viewers may find disturbing. And finally, I have captured a bit of Thomas the Tank poop. You better believe it. Well, that's the blue tongue. Um, I believe that's the one from last year. Now growing up a bit. I'll tell you what, uh, this one is very frisky. Let's see if I can get her out. I'm hoping it's a she. Oh, there she is. I mean, look at her. Um, yeah, it's not fully grown. I don't think that's a cutie. I'll tell you what, she's a... She's a stunner. Trick to picking these up is to be faster than her. Oh, I've got her back. I'll tell you what, she's moved around a fair bit. Come on. I've got her. I've got her. I've got her. Oh, she's a stunner. I've got a feeling but that one last year had markings at the back here. Is it a she? I think what people are telling me, you look on the back here for two lumps if it's a male, I think it's a girl. But uh, she's beautiful, this one. Absolutely beautiful. And I tell you what, these are strong lizards. Or oh, people will say, oh, but they're not lizards, Leo. My oh son's my just come God. out. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> hey? So cool. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. I heard a rustling. I heard this rustling sound. I looked down and sure enough, beautiful blue tongue. <laughs> Give her a pat. Be careful. She's starting to settle down a bit now. I've given her a few strokes on the head there. I'll give her a ride in this uh, little dump truck here. Want to ride the dump truck? There, there. We're going to do a runner, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, oh she's feisty. She's you're very feisty, aren't you? Hey? It's the time of year very very common to see these skinks. Dad. Well I'm gonna call them this is yes. Yep. Uh, on this. No no no, I'm just gonna talk about it first. Just let me talk. Um what are we? We're sort of what's it late November? Very common to see these uh at this time of year. Uh it's funny, I don't know where they go in winter time, they seem to just disappear. There's, um, if I get one of those Thomas toys and make the hissing sound, they, they tend to get a reaction from that. Um, but I tell you what, this is an absolute stunner, this one. They always are, uh, these lizards. I wonder if this is the one which is the baby from last year. It is from last year. Yeah, it could be. This, this is still fairly small. Um... Yeah, there'll be lizard people out there saying, Oh, of course it's Leo, you don't know what you're looking at, all the rest of it. But the funny thing, I remember sort of seeing a mark at the top of a head. Maybe I've got to go look at the video from last year. And no, we, no we, well, she's not going to play bulldozers with you. She is not going to play bulldozers with you. <laughs> um, but nevertheless, oh, you, yeah, I just want to kiss her. Look at that tongue. Beautiful. Well, I've got a sneaky suspicion this blue tongue is actually different to the one that I had last year. There's one from last year, although the scale's going to be different because it's a close-up of that one there. I'm looking at the head markings on that one versus the head on this one. Mm. It's from last year. I, I think this is a different one. There's that one there. And we'll look at the one from last year. Oh, what do you reckon? There's that one again there. It's a one from last year. Oh, it's so hard to tell. The way I remember it was the one last year had a distinctive marking on the top of the head like it was an attack area. A bird had come along and pecked the top of its head there. Um, I got a feeling that this one here is another blue tongue. Just got that feeling. Dad, yeah. can't do a sleeping song again? The Blue Tongue Sleeping Song? <laughs> yeah, that'd be sort of interesting. I don't so, know if that video is up on YouTube you yet. You should lick me. Yes. Do you want the sleeping song again, eh? Yeah, I want to see your eyes close. Ah, yes. The old Blue Tongue Sleeping Song. The old Rockabye Baby, eh? Yeah. Will this one go to sleep via Thomas the Tank? That's the big question. It is interesting, once they've relaxed in your hand, um, they're actually very gentle creatures. Beautiful creatures. I found Thomas the Tank there! <laughs> the lizards just got so excited by seeing Thomas the Tank. We just had a, a blowout. Uh, 
<laughs> That's what happens when you're working with animals on um, videos, isn't it? Uh, I've never had that happen to me before. Maybe the excitement of being near Godzilla is another factor here. Kissy kissy Godzilla? Are you gonna kissy kissy Godzilla? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> My son's run away as soon as uh, the old blue tongue here um, decided to, well, do what blue tongues do. Hmm, I think that lizard needs a tad more fibre in its diet. Coming to a cinema near you, Godzilla versus the amazing Blue Tongue Lizard. It'll be a match made in Lizard Heaven. Rawr, rawr. Who's gonna win this epic battle? Rawr. Oh, Godzilla is down. Blue Tongue Lizard is the winner. Well, I've got to settle down. Uh, she's on the back on my hand here, and there's some sort of looks like a parasitic tick there just near where my thumb is I uh, because I don't know what I'm looking at here I don't know what to say about that apart from it's bit into this lizard here um, I've tried to flick it off I can't get it to move but what is interesting this lizard has got um, a red color underneath here I hope it's coming through on ca camera that you can see it it to me seems like a different lizard to the one that I had last year um, someone said to me, you know, the girls are going down to the bottom end here. If the males apparently got two lumps in that part of the world, which I can't see any lumps there, but that's where the poop came out of, I can tell you that. Uh, but nevertheless, especially up here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a red marking just from like where her neck is, like between those front legs coming down, there's a red mark there, but this sort of parasitic thing there, I don't like the look of that at all. Uh, I've never seen that on a blue tongue before. Looks like some giant tick of some sort. And there is a close-up video. I'm working single-handedly here with my iPhone in one hand. The lizard relaxing in the other. I don't know what that is. It looks nasty. I wouldn't want that on me. I can tell you that. I'll just get my daughter here. She's going to help me uh, try and get rid of Hold whatever this still. is. Okay, let me get in a better position for you. I come holding the lizard fairly tight. I'm going to come in and try and get that. Whatever it is, it's got a bite in there. Pull, pull. Oh, look at that thing. Pull harder. That's it. Get that thing no, off. Why is it? I'm going to rip its skin. Oh. Maybe get up close to the head. Come on. I think it's got pretty tough skin, this thing. It's not flinching. It's actually quite relaxed. Get rid of that thing. I don't like the look of it. I'm trying to. I can't get it off. Mm. It's very stuck. Well, thing's bleeding. I know. Daddy's going to try and come and get this thing off. Oh, I got it off. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Well, Ugh. hopefully. Well, the lizard didn't flinch or anything. Well, there's the bottom of whatever that thing that was on the lizard here. I don't like the look at that thing at all. I've never seen anything like that before. And that's there where it was attached. I just hope I've um, given this girl a bit of an easier life by getting rid of whatever that thing was. Well, we've got the waterworks happening now. <laughs> that's how exciting it is when you come and visit me, isn't it? It's been absolutely stunning um, having you visit. I always like to teach my children uh, when you, you know, play with nature, well, first off, be careful what you pick up. Don't try and pick these up if you don't know how to handle them. Um, they will give you a very nasty bite that you will rem remember for a long time. Um, this is a stunning critter, I tell you. They're just the right size, you know, to be the nice size to pick up. When they're a bit bigger than this, they really can be a handful. Interesting that we've had a bit of, uh, <laughs> pooping action there, and th that's what she's just done there. She's very excited. Maybe I can get her some mints. I'll put it back to where she came from, and I'll give her some mints to have a nibble on as a thank you. My boy's just going to say goodbye to the blue tongue. Guess give the blue tongue a pat. Don't put your hand in front of her because um, she can snap if she wants to. Although this one's actually a fairly... Um... You going to say goodbye to her? Goodbye. Bye. 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 Yeah. Go put it back where she came from. And I think it's very important to put these critters back to where they came. She'll be happy in a little home in there. There she goes. I'll tell you what, this one, she's actually a... Uh... Pretty fast move if I um, come down and try and get her again. You watch the way she scampers off. Come on. Whoa! There she goes. 
Well, I think the most important part of this video is to try and understand whatever this thing here is. Particularly nasty looking. It to me, it looks like a giant tick. If that's a tick, it's the one of the biggest that I've seen. Um, maybe it has a symbiont relationship with the uh, lizard that I don't understand. Uh, look at the legs on that. It looks like tick legs to me. But then again, what would I know? I'm not an entomologist. I'm sure someone out in the audience will tell me exactly what this thing here is. And it's actually quite sizable. There's my finger in there. Um, to work out its relationship, it's, I mean, that's a nasty looking critter indeed. Who out there can tell me about that critter there? I'll tell you one thing about it, it's built like a Sherman tank. I can give it a pounding and it keeps on moving. Dan, can you see the print from table, please? Table watching and bye for now. Bye for now. <laughs> Well, it's got me curious. I haven't got the Thomas the Tank Lizard Sleeping Song up, but I have got the same lizard in another video, which was actually seen oh, back in April. But the video may have been shot in March because there tends to be weeks and weeks of delay before me making a video versus me uploading one to YouTube. And me not eat cookies because me sounding like Cookie Monster now. And I kept saying in the video last year, well, it was actually nine months ago. So our whole winter time has gone through and spring, and we are possibly looking at the same lizard, but I'm not a lizard expert. Who knows, there could be twins of these things getting about. Although I do feel these lizards do keep to their own territory. And I say that because out in the backyard, I used to see a very large older female lizard, and she was like a constant every summer. The one very common thing I will say versus the baby lizard that I had nine months ago and the lizard that I just picked up in November is they both had the same gentle temperament. She was actually a very easy lizard to pick up and handle. She became very relaxed with handling. But I really need someone who understands these creatures, who knows what they look like and how much they grow. I feel the one I've just picked up is almost double the size than the baby from nine months ago. Anyway, I think I've shown you enough to make a decision there. And again, as a double ending, thanks for watching and bye for now. And yes, I did clean up the poop off the table as my son asked me.